Okay, video number whatever it is now. From the lunge from an adaptive stance. So this is going to be much shorter than it would be if I was using Capoferro's design with uh, the leg being at least 90 degrees or more. This is all based off of body mechanics. There's nothing wrong with it. And honestly, in a real fight, I hardly use a Capoferro lunge unless it's an intimidation tactic or I think I got it. So here we go. So from the adapted stance, from here or from the 90, same exact thing, put that arm first and then your body can come out. It's gonna be a lot less and then it's a little step forward. That keeps everything right in here. This hand is active if it needs to be. And then same thing as before though, I return, I come back, my arm comes back from this angle that adaptive stance. Arm, body, leg. A lot shorter, that's okay. We're still bending from the hips. And then I just return, and then the arm comes back. There's you. So that's the adapted stance lunge, or you know, kind of like your sparring lunge or tournament lunge. So, same exact mechanics, just the body is restricted based off of the ligaments and muscles and the bone structure. You know, Capoferro's lunge is designed for maximum length through structure, and the adaptive stance is effective, effectiveness of different versatility versus the length through structure. So, there you go.